what did you think of your first game? Uh, a little frustrating that we didn't get the win. If you've received a bunch of reaction, I mean, you get a bunch of calls and texts from just guys you know, people you know, talk to you about the couple of picks in your first game. Yeah, just uh, tell me that I did a good job and uh, keep it up, keep playing hard. <laughs> Is that like everything you could hope? I mean, besides the time, mm -hmm. is that everything you could hope for from your first game? Um, yeah, it, it was a little bit. I'm, I'm disappointed I gave up a score, though, to Antonio Brown, but it was a great catch by him. What could you have done differently on that play? Get the ball out. <laughs> Get the ball out. Did you um, turn your head, or did you see the ball coming? Uh, I thought I was in a good position. Uh, I just didn't get the ball out. Did you get the so, ball? Yeah. No, I didn't knock it loose. He caught it, so... <laughs> So Michael Thomas is obviously a different size player. What kind of a challenge is he going to be for you? What do you have to do different? Yeah, I mean, I went against receivers like him in college, and uh, I will in the league. So the size don't really make a difference to me. It don't really matter who I go against. So I'm looking forward to that matchup. You talked about being confident. You know, when we talked to you in uh, training camp about being confident that you can be able to get your hands on some balls and get some interceptions. But mm -hmm. to equal your college interception production in mm -hmm. the first game, did you even maybe exceed your own expectations on that? Uh, no, my expectation every game is to go in and uh, take my man off the field and lock my man down. So I didn't do that, so I still got things I got to work on. Not to compare, I'm not asking you to compare yourself to Marshawn as mm -hmm. a player or anything, but obviously you know him so well, you've yeah. played with him so long. We saw what he did mm -hmm. as a rookie last year. Like That kind of rookie impact as a corner, mm -hmm. do you think that's out there for you? Is that something that you've looked at and thought, yeah, I, I can do that in year one. Yeah, I think it's uh, definitely possible. I uh, just got to go out there and compete every day and just uh, work hard, take it game by game, see what happens. Does that give you motivation to aim for that when it's you know, one of your good friends who's, who did it last year? Yeah, it definitely gave me motivation. Marshawn, he's a great player. He had a great season. I'm sure he's going to have another great season this year. So it definitely gave me a little bit of motivation. You guys are, are you guys in constant communication? Yeah, and, yep. Even this week? Uh, I haven't talked to him this week yet, no. <laughs> did you cover Mike in, on scout team much your first year? Well, yeah, when I got to Ohio State, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, so, I mean, like, when you have any kind of familiarity with a receiver like that, you mm. know, I mean, you're looking at film no matter what and everything. Is that mm. anything? That Is what have, anything? The idea that you've covered Mike Thomas in practice a bunch of times, and now you're going to cover him in an NFL game. Right, yeah, and I'm sure he improved uh, since that time and added new things to his game then. So, like you said, got to watch film and uh, see what happens in the game. And you improved probably too, right? Definitely, since I improved. Freshman year at Ohio State? Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Was there any conversation with Antonio throughout the game? Uh, not really, no. Um, you know, we talk a lot about the receivers, but first your quarterbacks are facing are, you know, Big Ben and then mm. Drew Brees. When you watch Brees on film and he's put the film together forever, like what stands out and what makes him, you know, one of the greatest of all time? Uh, really how he controls the game. He's a very accurate quarterback. Well, you ever done on you? Your first two games were against guys who are probably going to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, not really. I just go out just trying to remember the game plan and do my assignment and uh, help this team win. I don't really focus too much on everything else. When a guy's that accurate, does it mean there's even less room for error for you? I mean, if definitely. you give a guy half a step? Definitely, definitely. Technique is very important going into games like that. Denzel, this may be an impossible question, but just for any rookie in the NFL, just what is it that you had to do to get yourself in position to be ready week one? Week one to do what you did. How did you do it? Um, I would say it started a long time ago, just Ohio State and just uh, my progression as a player throughout uh, my whole career, college and coming to the NFL here with the Browns, just my whole progression, studying, uh, going hard in practice. So that really and it all just shows out, shows up uh, game day. When it comes to you know, the preseason versus the regular season in the NFL, what did you learn? about the differences? Uh, definitely the tempo of the game. The tempo of the game is a lot faster. And what was it like to be playing, you know, in Cleveland with a bunch of relatives there? What mm -hmm. were kind of the emotions like when you kind of reflect on the opener? Yeah, it was exciting. It was my first uh, regular season NFL game. I was looking forward to it since I've been a kid. So a lot of excitement going into the game. When you watch that, even just that first interception on film, see so yourself mm -hmm. laying out for that ball like that and, and catching it, that had to be a pretty good feeling in the film room for you. Yeah, it definitely was. It was a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of guys say stuff. And yep, a lot of compliments. Appreciate it. Got a lot to work on, though. You kept the balls? Do you have the balls? Yeah, I have them. Yep. What do you got to do with them? Probably put them in a showcase or something. Yep. And did you ever, uh, did 
Did you feel exhausted after that game? Probably yeah, it was, the longest game you've ever played. Yeah, definitely. It was uh, definitely one of the most physical games I had. Uh, I was hurting after the game, <laughs> more so than I was in college. So I got to work on that, get better at that, and uh, recover. Denzel, what does it do for a defense when you get a guy like Miles Garrett up front who can impact the game on every play? Yeah, like you said, Miles, he affects the game. It affects my job, makes my job easier. Uh, times where I may, my technique may not be as good, he gets there in time where it make me look good. So I definitely enjoy Miles on the team. Is, is that your expectations for him now? And I mean, this team, he comes out and gets two sacks and two mm -hmm. forced fumbles. Do you expect that kind of game from him every week? Definitely. He's that type of player, a player who could uh, affect the game on every play. So I definitely expect that out of him and the rest of the team. And I think you've stayed on the left side of the field the whole time. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I went to both, just depending. Yeah, I usually play left side, but I play both. Sometimes I have to go to the right side corner as well. What, depend, what does that depend on? Oh, uh, formations. Yeah, situations, formations. So, but, but there wasn't a, there wasn't a case of you trailing Antonio Brown. There, there was a scenario when that happened, yes. For a while? Yeah, time. yeah. I know I'm pretty sure covered Michael Thomas down there at Ohio State. So many guys on the team. Do you guys have French, a friendship at all, or did you... Really not know each other. No, we, we knew each other. We were real close uh, with all my Ohio State guys, so I'm real close with those guys. So did you ever communicate, have you communicated with him since the draft at all? Or? Yeah, I talked to all those guys. <laughs> yep. You say physical, from what standpoint, number of plays? Say that again? When you say it was the most physical game you played, mm -hmm. from what standpoint, number of plays? Or yeah, number of plays, just the physicality of the game and the tempo, the pace of the game. How about going against Antonio Brown? Things, watching film that you can learn from going against him? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, for instance, like for instance what? What did I learn from going against him? Uh, just like his releases, um, how he runs routes, uh, route tendencies. So you have such a strong tradition of defensive backs from the Ohio State. Some of those guys are your good friends, as mm -hmm. we talked about. Did your phone blow up pretty good with uh, all of those guys, your, your guys in the back? Yeah, definitely. They're just congratulating me and uh, telling me to keep going hard and keep it up. And I did the same for them. Uh, they got uh, TCU this week, I believe. So, wishing the best of luck to those guys. I remember asking you in June about only having two interceptions at Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Here you go, your first game you got to. I mean, did that surprise you, or, or do you expect to be that kind of cornerback in the NFL? Yeah, I definitely expect to be that kind of player in the NFL. I uh, try to help this team win any way I can. Do you guys still have the cornerback text chain for the OSU guys and guys? You said the what? The, don't you have a text the chain? The group message, yeah. 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 Do you guys still do that? Yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah. Very close with those guys. Yeah. Does yeah, Gus, is Gus getting a piece of this shirt, or how would you work that yeah, out? Yeah, Gus, yeah, I talked to him about it. Yeah, he's getting a piece of it. <laughs>